Welcome back to Hasbro's Hide. Doing a follow-up video to the Faxon bolt carrier issue I had where the uh, gas key was not staked at all. Uh, still, unfortunately to date, I've heard absolutely nothing from Faxon. They have not responded to uh, my trying to contact their customer service as they show to, to do on their website. So that's a bit disappointing. But uh, in contacting the, the company I bought it from, Primary Arms, uh, I had to send it back uh, and did so. Unfortunately, when it got back to them, after a week I find out that it was back ordered. And that seems to be the case with many companies now on this Faxon 6.5 Grendel Bolt. For some reason it's back ordered. Well, I also found out in the time in between there that someone else, at least one other person, has had this exact same problem where the uh, bolt key was not staked at all. So perhaps there's some issue uh, in quality control with Faxon. Well, there is some issue with quality control in Faxon um, related to that bolt, and perhaps they're working to take care of that uh, now. But Primary Arms, uh, I contacted them and uh, was a little disappointed that they hadn't shipped as promised, but they made it right. And, and credit to, to their customer service. Um, they shipped me instead the Fail Zero 6.5 Grendel bolt. And so this is a very good bolt as well. It's the, one of the two that I considered when I was um, looking at buying the, the proper bolt, a good quality bolt for the 6.5 Grendel. And so uh, this cost, uh, you know, the one I had was on sale, so this was maybe $40 more expensive. And they shipped it out complimentary. It did not charge me the difference. And so that was really good service of them. Uh, in fact, even then, because it had been so long, I asked and they were willing and they shipped it to me a faster way. And so that was, that was a, a good uh, customer service experience for me with Primary Arms and I will continue to be a customer of theirs. So let's look at the bolt. So we have just a few more components in our build to look at. And this is the uh, Fail Zero bolt. One of the first things, um, I don't know if you can see this, I'll take a picture and show it at the end of the video. But one of the things I noticed uh, was that on the Faxon bolt, the bolt face was really not well, um, not well machined. It was rough, except for around where the primer was. There was a support area that was nicely machined, but the rest was very rough. But if you look at the, Fax, or the uh, Fail Zero bolt, it's really nice. In fact, there's just a little bit of a mark inside of there, and that's because they fire test them, which is, I think, is actually a great thing. So we make sure everything is secure, it passes the proper pressures, etc. And so they fire test them, and I have no problem with that. And so if you look at the rest of the bolt, of course, this one uh, is a uh, nickel boron coating, uh, their own proprietary way of doing it. I have other cheaper bolts that are uh, for 223 that are nickel boron coated. I never liked those pretty well, but this is supposed to be uh, the absolute uh, best quality of that coating. And so I'm looking forward to, to running this bolt. Um, if you can see here, and again, I'll show another uh, video here as well, this has been. Uh, staked properly. And so there's a good heavy stake into uh, the, the uh, sides of these screws holding the gas key on. And so that's that's good. That was what was fundamentally missing on the fax and bolt that I had received. And so this is a good heavy stake and everything else then appears to be of good quality. And so we're looking forward to, to running this bolt. The other components that have come in, uh, I mentioned, is uh, a couple of these are the LaRue MBT trigger. Now this is the third one. And so um, I highly recommend these. Um, they are the best deal, I think, uh, for the money out there. Uh, I've shot Geisley and you know the really high-end triggers, and, and they're really good, but to be honest, they're really overpriced. Uh, LaRue has really hit the high quality end at the right price. I think this was this was less than, I think it was $87 if I remember, something like that, plus shipping uh, to my door. And so we'll be showing this when I put it in the gun and talk about it, but it's a two-stage trigger. The first take up will be about two and a half pounds, and then you hit a really nice clean wall and two pounds, and it's very crisp and sharp. People talk about things breaking like glass. This is the closest I've ever felt to one really so clean and sharp. 
Um, and so looking forward to put this one in. This is the curved uh, bow, but with a flat face. All my others have been the curved trigger, so this will be uh, a new one to uh, to try out. Same exact mechanism, um, same uh, you know components, etc. Just it has this curved uh, feature with the flat face. And so a lot of people like shooting the flat face triggers. I, I've done them, and they they are nice. And so we'll see how this compares to my other guns which run the uh, the regular curved trigger so that uh, that's a really a, a good quality component that I'm looking forward to put in uh, the gun uh, the other is uh, I got for um, for seating AMAX or ELD uh, tipped bullets I got the uh, proper uh, seating stem for this and so this was fine and, and I got it off Amazon and that you know that was fine but whoever was selling them off Amazon clearly had damaged the packaging or something because this thing was all busted up. You can see this? I didn't do that. It was taped together. Um, so hopefully this is okay. I kind of rolled it on a, a flat plate and see if it was uh, bent or anything. It seems to be okay. So hopefully that is good. Just another challenge uh, in getting parts for this build. So uh, I got buffer tube. I uh, haven't decided whether I'm going to code it or not. Um, I may just coat the part that shows, but you know, if you use the, if you extend the buttstock, which I do regularly, putting in and out of cases and taking to the range, you'll just scratch it up through here. And so I haven't decided on this. I may just leave this black, but maybe this is the part that shows when I have it in normal shooting position. I'll go ahead and coat. We'll decide that here in the next couple of days or so. Uh, the last thing, I, and I mentioned, uh, is the Vortex Strike Eagle scope. And this is the 4 to 24 by 50 with the EBR4 uh, reticle. I have three of these now. And so it's becoming a bit of a problem, <laughs> or a good problem though. They are exceptional for the money. Uh, they've really held up well for me. Um, but they have discontinued this particular model. So right now, um, shout out to Euro Optics. Uh, they have them for $299. This is the best $299 I think you could spend for a rifle. So all, in fact, of my ARs, uh, precision rifle setups, uh, are running these right now. They're second focal plane, uh, which I like for precision target shooting just because the crosshairs don't change. You maintain that nice, fine crosshair. Um, and I have first focal plane scopes when you need to do uh, you know, rapid changes of distance and things. But this is, a, I think, an exceptional deal for the money. And so I highly recommend that while you can buy them. So uh, one other thing, bought, and I'll show this in a minute, but this is just has to do with how we're going to apply the snake skin. Okay, and it's, it's gutter material, gutter guard, they call it. You can get different brands. But this particularly uh, has, a, has a good um, snake skin type pattern. And so we'll be using that on the next steps of a rifle. Anyway, good news. I uh, got a bolt, finally, a good quality bolt. Everything is as it should be, and uh, so we'll be able to put this in when we start assembling our rifle.